Hello viewers, uh, today uh, we are going to see how to create the cookies uh, from a client side using the jQuery. Uh, so today topics I am going to cover with how to create the cookie, how to read the cookies and uh, how to delete it. It means like erase the cookies in a different fashions. So uh, I just going to uh, set a basic uh, cookie and uh, I am going to set expiry date for the cookie plus which path suppose I just want to uh, create the cookies or uh, to assess the cookies on the particular path so how to uh, give the path in the cookie while creations uh, so how to read the cookies how to read multiple cookies so uh, this this, uh, these are the topics I going to cover today okay uh, from the default function I going to create my cookie so uh, in a dollar symbol fuse is dollar dot okay cookie bracket I am giving a test cookie here I going to set value uh, for this uh, cookie I just going to set go free lance and comma in general case how to set the expiry uh, expiry expires 7 ok fine so this is a way to create the cookie and one more uh, thing you can uh, do is to set the path uh, by using the path attribute yeah uh, initially I just uh, given the default path like uh, uh, this cookie is uh, able to access to all the pots so this is a, a way to create the cookie and next level is to read the cookie so I just uh, going to alert my cookie value so I just call this function this will alert my cookie so uh, let me go on the check in the browser so whether everything seems to fine or some issues we are facing sorry my application it's a bit slow today to uh, get into so today is a weekend for me so it's getting delayed maybe so how I am like uh, feeling ok meanwhile I just uh, want to explain you one more thing so this is a place I create the cookie and I am just alert the cookie by uh, using the key of uh, the name of the cookie I just alert the data of my cookie ok so one second it's uh, still loading page is loading actually ok uh, so uh, now uh, uh, things to, uh, to be ready now uh, so this is a uh, uh, things to be uh, to create the cookie this is to read the cookie so this is the script default jquery 
ओके वन मोर थिंग आई मिस आउट एक्चुअली दैट इज वन लाइब्रेरी टू बी कॉल्ड फॉर अ ग्रेट द कुकी टू मैनेज द कुकी लाइब्रेरी सो हेयर इज माई जेक वेरी डॉट कुकी सो आई हैव टू टेक द रेफरेंस ऑफ दिस टू सो दिस थिंग्स यू कैन डाउनलोड फ्रॉम द जेक वेरी डॉट कुकी यू विल गेट लाइब्रेरीज इन फ्रॉम द गूगल सो इफ यू गो जिट कप यू कैन गेट इट uh so uh, i will show you which website you had to download it so this is the website that you had to download jitcup uh carhatel uh, slash jquery cookie if you uh, go and type this url uh, or you in google if you type here you will get lot of results over here and you have to download it and you have to uh, take from the source jquery.cookie.js and you have to include in our scripts um that's it uh, so now we were uh, cookie creation is ready so let me go and run my applications so let me go and view the browser so before uh, going to create the cookie you must have to include this script so like as a developer i missed out the same thing it will be happen but so uh, now you have the option to highlight this one so two uh, things you needed one is the jquery default library one is the jquery.cookie library to manage the our cookies so we'll see yeah so i am uh, get my value go freelancer from my cookie okay now everything is seems to work fine so the same stuff uh, we will go and create in some page so i have one page here uh with the script of library okay i just want to alert uh, this uh, cookie from the next page so uh, because i said the path default slash so i want to test this to be happen in all the pages so copy paste and use my uh, Crypto here. Okay, my page already is running. So uh, this is the page I added is about dot CSS HTML. So directly I going to hit this page about. Let me see whether uh, my application is get alerted. Uh, yes, I got alert. Go free launches from my alert by using the read cookie. So I am reading the cookie here and I am getting all the stuff over here. So now uh, our cookies is working all over the places so uh, you can set the expiry on which path exactly you needed so like suppose you want to uh, home uh, dot index only to be highlighted okay so uh, if you run this page again home now it's created if i go about okay so before that i have to uh, remove my cookie and i have to set the path so stuff be very complicated here okay fine uh, so initially my cookie is uh, set so uh, i can't uh, set the path or to over right here so what i have to do now i have one steps to remove my cookie one steps to remove cookie how to remove the cookie uh fine i going to add my uh, remove dot uh, remove cookie from this page dot uh yeah i remove cookie here i going to uh, refer my cookie name okay fine and i am alerting this one so now i going to uh, run my default page so let's see what's uh, things to be happening okay now default i have the cookie with the value of go free launcher i go about page yep i am not getting any alert because 
my cookies is removed here so I'm not getting this alert so this is a way to remove the cookie so now uh, uh, we covered how to create the cookie with the base script of uh, jQuery.cookie and how to read the cookie and how to remove the cookie so and how to set the expiry and the next level of how to set the path so here you have to set the physical path over here uh, to avoid a confusion you have to uh, give the path exactly to manage uh, where the wherever your cookie has to be uh, fill on to assess uh, by the pages okay if you have any doubt please comment us thanks for watching the video